where all that shooting happened in this parking lot of the Dion's on Gibson and University. As you can see, it's operating normally, but the family is grieving tonight. When I heard that it was a young kid who was shot and killed, I, I just had that feeling. Amanda Riccio is spending her Saturday night grieving the death of her 14 year old son, Martin. He was with his friends when he was shot, then died at the hospital. And I do not wish any mother to go through any type of horrific, tragic crime and, you know, act of violence in this in this sort of way. Riccio says she got a bad feeling when her son wasn't getting back to her. Him not returning my call and not being able to get a hold of right away. It's like I just got like a instinct that I thought so, I knew something wrong, something bad had happened. She says she tried calling his friends, but no answer. Then all the law enforcement agencies and all the hospitals in the area. She was told there were unidentified shooting victims. I just shot right to the hospital and um, they weren't able to release anything for about three and a half hours. She says detectives finally took her into a private room then. And that's when they were able to tell me the horrific news of my baby. I asked her what she would say to the person responsible for the shooting. He pays the price for me losing my wonderful 14 year old son that I loved with all my heart. He was the most wonderful kid ever. And the Martins family is planning a candlelight vigil for him in his honor tomorrow night. We will keep you updated with the details once we get them. For now, we're live on Gibson and University. Justin Matthews, KYT, Action 7 News. Okay.